Oh, this is totally dead end territory. Huh. All right, you can go back and explore duty. I will set you to auto explore, although I'm not sure what else you're going to discover. Maybe a little bit over here. I could maybe park you in my territory so that I can upgrade you to a caravel in 21 turns. That might not be a terrible idea, actually. Tell you what, let me take you off auto explore. I'll send you manual out to go over there and then I'll bring you to my territory. You just heal up. University, university. Good stuff. Don't have the extra trade route yet, but soon. Open borders, I'm okay with. I don't think that's going to lead to anything bad. She doesn't probably doesn't have archaeology yet. Um, and this way it gives us an extra ability to go through her borders when we're trying to explore. Gallius, done. Okay, so more money from fishing boats, good. More trade route, good. Uh, or, yeah. And uh, the harbor connects our cities, which gives us money and offsets its maintenance. Plus gives us um, more uh, trade route stuff. So we are going to need all that stuff, obviously. You sit tight. We're going to get that border soon. You... Ooh. Can I not reach over there? Oh, why? Because that ship's in... There you go. Just a vision problem. Settle a city. So we'll go to negative happiness. That's the way it goes. We'll start on a monument right away. Yeah. I'm okay with that. And that does tank our happiness. We'll have to get started on those coliseums, but I'm happy about finishing these universities first. Let's queue up a Coliseum after that. You've already got one. Actually, you probably want to squeeze out a Shrine. Uh, we don't have any faith for anything interesting anyway, but we'll have to revisit that soon enough. Money situation, I'm fine. Indonesia does not have enough cash. How much does it cost for a cargo ship in this speed? 650. Okay, so we're not doing that yet. Oh, crabs ended. Theodora, I want your crabs. You have lots. I guess we'll trade away our last cocoa. We're actually going to get another one. This will result in a net plus two happiness because I'm the Dutch. And we're going to get more cocoa soon. Alright, so we're back to minus two. That's alright. You. Uh, head over to this one because it'll be easier to get the deer after. One more turn, and it is going to grow to that tile. Good. And we'll farm that some more. Antonin and Banana Revo and Byzantium are allies. Wow, she's really... She did have a lot of money in the bank. I will say that. Um, that's something else I could be spending my money on. Bring the friendship up with Antonin and Banana Revo a little more. But there we go. We have enough money here. Indonesia! Vug you too. Hey, how about a trade agreement? Research agreement. Excellent. Great way to spend all of our money. All right, so that is pretty dead-endy. Okay, yeah. Come home. And then in 18 turns, we will upgrade you to Caravels. I'll try to save money for that. Um, let's go ahead and plant some tulips here. They need some tulips. Everyone wants tulips. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Notre Dame, built in a faraway land. Again, it would have been really nice if it had been Jakarta, because then I could steal it. What kind of wonders do you have? Oracle, Petra, Bora Border. Yeah, this Petra town, like, stunning amounts of production. Um, you go there. You go there. Good. Cargo ship. Does anyone want a trade route? No. Well, we're going to keep going for max money, then. Oh, I, right, I still don't have the... Really? I still don't have a range, even with um, extended range of sea trade routes to trade over here. Well, I mean, I, I know I can't go through the ocean, but uh, I guess it is a really long way around. All right, fair enough. Park yourself there. Yes, yes. Um, and yeah, we will need the happiness. So we'll probably go and get our Colosseums up everywhere. And then we can get the Circus Maximus. Um, I might be able to just buy it in Breda, depending on how much money I'm making.
But I love the fact that we're friendly and have research agreements with everyone we know. People with the pointiest sticks. I'm actually in range of Gaja. This difference means he can't do anything to me. Theodora's a little scarier, but she's further away. This is working out really well. Plantation me. And camp me. And wait. I mean, I could put these guys on fortify duty. I guess I will for them. But I, I hate, like, forgetting about stuff. Da -da. Universities are good. I, I'm, I'm excited about the universities, not just for the science, but the fact that they give two scientists lots, which means we can start working on our great scientists, which will be pretty valuable. Yeah, they have open borders. That might be a little scary, but, I mean, first of all, they don't have any bombard, and they have limited amount of ability to actually melee. I do have one ship over here. I suppose out of paranoia, I can go and just, like, park it in here. Workboat. Fishify. Go. Very nice tile. Of course, our cities aren't growing. I'm, I'm not concerned. I, ha I even have city walls in Rotterdam. City walls plus a composite bowman can hold off this. Now, they might show up with a million billion units, except we know they don't have a million billion units. They only have twice as many people as I do, and basically we're seeing them all on the screen right now. And I can pull back this composite from Amsterdam. I mean, if he decides to attack me and break our friendship agreement and research agreement, I'll be a little bit salty. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. But I think we can hold him off. I think he's just trying to mostly explore or do something crazy like that. Because if he declares war on me now, all his units are gonna get, like, kicked out of my borders. Right? You can't, you can't do that sneak attack nonsense with um, an open borders agreement. Maybe he knows about a barbarian encampment or something like that, or he's got a mission to bully a city-state. That could be. Vatican City wants investors. That's tempting. Oh, they're not allied anymore. Oh, no, it was... No, no, they were allied to Vatican City as well. Demand tribute. Discover natural wonder. I'm working on it. Yeah, I, pr I should probably keep using my money to bribe city-states. In particular, getting Antonin and Banana Revo all the way allied with me, if possible. 104 influence, that's a lot. Yeah, we might wait on that one. Okay, just park yourself there as well. Spread the religion. Buddhism! Right, it's giving me extra food from shrines and temples. No ability to, like, faith buy anything interesting. And not that I have any faith right now, anyway. Quebec City wants a trade route. Excellent! And in fact, I have an extra trade route spot as well. Okay, I think the best way to spend my money then, instead of spending it to bribe someone, is I can use it to buy a, um, a cargo ship and then send that... Oh! Send that to um, Quebec City. Steel technology, what you got for me, Theodora? You have chivalry is your most expensive tech. I can also steal some stuff down here. I guess I'll take chivalry. By itself, it doesn't really give me anything. Um, unless I want to... Oh, no, you have astronomy! Whoa, I almost missed it. Hello, freaking astronomy. Oh, wait. Okay. We're researching it right now. We've got about 800 more beakers to finish astronomy. Chivalry is 934 beakers. So, we'll be effectively getting more beakers for free. Effectively? No, there's no quotes. We are effectively, or we are literally getting more beakers from our spy if we take chivalry. There's something to be said about getting astronomy a little bit earlier, though. For two reasons. One, we can upgrade our um, triremes to caravels. I'm pretty sure they upgrade. Yes. And two, it actually unlocks observatory, which is pretty damn good. And, of course, we can cross the oceans. Super, super duper valuable. Um, I'm going to steal astronomy. Plus, it brings me into the Renaissance era a little bit sooner, which has its own advantages. For example, the Nook social policy that I get whenever that happens can unlock um, rationalism even though I do want more in the exploration tree. Yeah, I'm going to take astronomy now, even though technically it's saving me fewer fewer science. It's still okay. We should probably backfill this. I'm going to go for metal casting and machinery, so we can get our workshops up and our ironworks. I usually get these a lot earlier, but this is a pretty good little beeline I'm happy with. How much does it cost to upgrade? 235 Sweet Jeebus, that's expensive, but worthwhile. I'm going to upgrade both ships and then put them back on exploration duty. Juice got promoted. Excellent. Um, I'm going to leave him in Constantinople because it's still producing a crap ton of science. Hopefully it wasn't actually detected. I hadn't actually noticed. I might get yelled at or not. Nothing so far. Okay, work has begun on a Colosseum. Um, you have university. You're working it. 
work in the marketplace because there's not as many tiles because we, we have negative happiness. Um, that's not too terrible. Although working that is pretty good. Okay, good. I can bring you basically over here at this point. Okay, I want you to auto explore, but specifically exploring this way. And then manually move them one turn, and then I'll put them on auto explore because they tend to explore things near them, so if you split them apart, they're unlikely to end up in the same spot. Quill, remember to propose a defensive pact in Indonesian Byzantine? Uh, maybe. Oh, and then you'll start stealing those tiles. You're right, Jakarta is expanding very quickly. Um, I may have to start buying those tiles. Shoes production, shrine. We need uh, another cargo ship. Head over here. Good. Head over here. Go to auto explore. Excellent. Yeah, I think we'll have to buy... We'll be able to buy the jungle tile next turn, which I'm going to be happy about. Sure, of course we'll do that. I really want to meet someone else to trade all these single luxuries that I have. Open Vortex, thank you for the sub. Mm -hmm. Alright, we have to go rationalism. There's no other rational answer. We're currently not happy, which sucks, but as soon as we become happy again, we'll get a 10% science boost. Getting secularism is amazing. I will say, though, maritime infrastructure, stupendously good. Naval tradition will get us out of our funk, but we have to take rationalism. It's just, it's just so good. I like science. Turns out science is pretty good in these kinds of games, if you guys didn't know. <laughs> Zentano, I think I missed your, uh, your sub. Yeah, right, I did. Thank you very much for the resub. Um, that's good. This is still fine. These coliseums are going to be necessary and alleviate a lot of happiness problems. Although, as soon as we meet more people... Oh, let's buy that tile. As soon as we meet more people, that's going to alleviate my happiness problems. Um, I don't think I'm going to lock that tile yet. Although... No, well, maybe I will. Those tiles will get worked. As soon as we're not unhappy, they will prioritize those tar tiles very, very, very highly. Battle Hunter. Can't wait for economics. Uh, I could look at polders with windmills on them all day. So charming. <laughs> uh, Gaja is plotting against me. It's not really a surprise. Now, plotting doesn't mean they're going to attack me, of course. One of the ways I could prevent that is moving a couple extra units near Rotterdam, because it's most likely their target. So, engineering... Bridges, another trade route that's very important. Amsterdam. Yeah, finish the Colosseum. We'll figure out where we're going to build the other trade route soon. Rotterdam, you've built your Colosseum, right? Still need harbors. Cupid. No, not a catapult. Another cargo ship after this one. Okay, you built your trade route on here? Yes, you did. We don't need roads. Where we're going, we don't need roads. What you're going to do is build me some tulips over here for Amsterdam. Good? Good. Good. Yay, religious warfare. Alright, you finished that. That's good. Let's go ahead and hook up this extra cocoa. We still gotta meet someone to trade with. Then research agreements. What do we got? 34 turns, 19 turns. Very nice. Can't believe we're only filling in iron working now, but you know. That that's how we roll. <laughs> Another university. We did rush the, the universities pretty quick. Now, Theodora's got it as well. Ah, Pocatello the Shone. Nice to meet you. Let's get some embassies going on. Excellent. Do you have a... No, you don't have a luxury. I could sell you one of these and make a ton of money, but I'm kind of happy capped right now, so we're not going to do that. Uh, but probably too early for open borders. No, we... Good. Excellent. So I can walk through your, your terrain and scoot you boot a lot easier. Where are you? Yay, Amsterdam. You're over here. Okay, that's your, your capital. Where did I actually meet you, though? Right, Quebec City wants a trade route as well. That's true. Tulips! Coco! Yeah, getting this extra Coco hooked up will be really nice. H.G. Wells, write me the War of the Worlds. I think that at that 
the time machine. Excellent. And we don't have any ability to make a combo or anything, no. But we do have two works of riding. We're making a whole four, four tourism. Look at this! We're not totally falling behind the tourism race, even though these people actually have wonders. What a weird game. I'm no longer selling horses to Theodora. Let's fix that. I forgot. Okay, we got four horses over here. Um, six? Actually, I should just ask for flat gold up front. Yeah, let's do that. Um, 280? There's no way. Oops. Uh, 260. All right. That brings me to 389 or 386. An excellent type of computer processor from way back when. My first computer was a 286 though, or my first IBM compatible was a 286. My first computer was an Atom from ColecoVision. So that's not enough money for us to really do anything. Oh, except oh, I can buy this tile, which I will do right away. It'd actually be really nice to get these tiles here for control for that. Well, it's not really a straight. He's already got the other end blocked in, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Secured that. I'm happy with that. Very happy. Now I really have to, like, save up for city-states. Maybe we can get more friendships going on. More research agreements. Could happen. There's not a lot of border conflict. Hey, Lake Victoria! Where are you? You're there. No, wow. That is a very frosty Lake Victoria. I don't think a leveler settled a city there, although if the AI did it, I wouldn't blame them for a change. Uh, one of the city-states right over here did want me to discover a natural wonder, so they're happy. Deadmate with the resub! Thank you very much. Computer reference really shows your age, yeah. I'm an old man. You! Can you go to Quebec City? Excellent. Bring me back some Putin. So that'll complete that mission there. Not that we really need the Maritime, necessarily, but it's alright. Still waiting on the happiness to kick in. Still waiting for... Well, once this cocoa goes... Well, mostly we'll be selling it, because they don't have an extra resource. Trade route for Quebec City. Nice. We met Tyr. They want me to destroy a barbarian encampment. Over there. Mm, I don't think I'm going to go for it, because I do want to keep my forces here. Lest the AI decide it's time to attack. You got a ruin? Well, we got to send someone to do that. Get over there. Growth. Meeting things, things are changing. Who are you protecting? You're protecting Tyr. Then I will protect them as well. Since you're allied and everything, so I don't think anyone's going to come and mess with them. So we'll do that. I don't remember if I'm pledging to protecting... Yes, I am. Vatican City. Minus five happiness. Awesome. Yeah, you're gonna go straight into a Coliseum, buddy. Need to get our happiness fixed. I wanna get Circus Maximus online. I'm not 32. Glissack has it wrong. I think he just made stuff up, or he's looking at some really old info. Welcome, fair stranger, to the protected harbor of Carthage. I'm known as Dido, Dido, the war the wanderer of Tyre. Or Tyre. Tyre's a city state. Alright. Nice to meet you. Hopefully you're not a big jerk face like last time. Um, trait. And you can see, other than Byzantium, no one is going crazy over here. These scores are very reasonable. And her scores is only because of the 12 wonders that she's got. Although, it does make a difference. We will have to do something about her at some point. Let's embassy up. Excellent. Let's see if we can get open borders as well, just to get more friendships. No. All right, that's fine. Um, let me come back to you when I got some stuff I want to trade. Ify! Um, another trade route. Three of four. No one else wants a trade thing. So we'll just go ahead for the biggest money maker. So the Spartan D. Thank you for the sub. Trade routes available. Sort by highest gold. Amsterdam to Constantinople would give us the most amount of money. And we don't have a trade route there. So we're already in Amsterdam. No, we're in Rotterdam. I bet you it's pretty damn close from here, though. Yeah, it's like one gold less. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Boom. All right, and we are building our final cargo ship as well. Yeah, we can make some serious money with some of these trade routes. It's going to be nice. Venice would have been fun on this map too, although pretty non-interactive. <laughs> and Nanonero no longer needs investors. Well, sorry I couldn't help out more, buddy. Love your name. 
Hinduism. Oh, so we're starting that stuff now. Nope. We're going to be pretty damn peaceful. I, I mean, I do think we're going to take Jakarta. But declaring on Dito. I mean, it's good to keep the AI busy. I will say that. In fact, it might be a good idea to start some bribes to throw some of these people into war to keep them ocupado. So... In fact, it'd be kind of handy. Would you declare war on Indonesia? That would be really awesome. Yeah, this looks good. I like this. One gold per turn. I will lose two happiness trading away my last salt. That's the only thing you want. It's too bad it's not something I'm going to get more of. I will lose two happiness trading away my last salt, but this is going to be great. Keep them busy. I doubt anything will actually happen. It will suck if she takes Jakarta. But it would be very surprising. It's a long way to go for that. I suppose I can check the other side. Um, listen, Indonesia. Would you... Yeah, fuck you. Declare war on Byzantium. No. Alright. She doesn't have a huge army either. Last time we checked, she had about 1,200 troops to his about 400 and change. So, you know, three times bigger army, but the distance involved and things like that, I think he's going to be safe. And cities are hard to take. Um, yeah, declare war on Indonesia. I suppose I could just offer you more cash instead of trading away my last salt. That might be better. Um, this, I don't think, will work. Yeah, let's do it this way instead. It'll probably be about 10 gold per turn. Eleven. Okay. Fair enough. Keep each other occupied. Stay the hell out of my way. Don't expand as much. Don't science as hard. Start making galleys and concert, conquer Constantinople. Um, frigates are going to be annoying because we don't have any steel. And frigates are really like the backbone to your naval invasion timing. And we won't get that until we get to navigation, right? Which I'm not beelining. I'm backfilling some stuff over here. We are going to get navigation at some point. I'll just have to, like, buy steel from someone. Someone I'm not going to attack. Taking Jakarta would be great. Reestablish the Dutch East Indies. Well, technically, they're to my west. I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, oh, Syria! Nice beard, buddy. Wow, you have less points than I do. Embassy. Embassy. Go. Open borders, maybe? No. All right. Now, you don't usually want to do it on day one. That's okay. No one's got any extra resources to trade to me, which kind of sucks. Coliseum done. Good. Um, we need to get our harbors up and running. We're leaving a lot of money on the table by not having our cities connected to our capital. Amsterdam, after you're done the Coliseum, do build that harbor, because we will need that. Mr. Worker, why don't you come way back over here? I don't suppose you want friendship. Uh, what are you, denouncing Carthage? You're more powerful than Carthage. I don't know. I mean, it's a little early. I, I understand. It's too soon. Shaka! Wow, am I happy you're not my neighbor. How many people have you pissed off? Where are you? 408. Mm, no major... In All right, well. Get an embassy going on. I don't have anything to sell you. You do have iron I might buy from you at some point. We'll see how it goes. Want open borders? No, it's too early. Okay. Wittenberg. Not allied with anyone. We'll leave you be. Um, good, we've got Coco again. Let's go and chop this forest here to help Breda. Breda's going to grow. Well, as soon as our happiness is fixed, it is going to start growing. So that's going to be fine. Alright, since these guys are at war, they're less likely to attack me. So, let's head on over this way. Actually, I should almost escort them with a ship, because they might run into a barbarian something or other. Where? Oh, a million miles away. Well, not that far. No, no, come up this way. I bet you can do it. I'm going to try to clear out that encampment, because there's a nice reward for it. Kaisel, friendship with Byzantium has run its course. Well, let's get that right back. They're each going to not be happy because I have a friendship with each other if they denounce each other. But we'll we'll hold on to both. We'll play both sides as long as we can. You're going to build a mine there. 
because the chop will be helpful. All right, even a 25% growth penalty. Utrecht did grow three turns away to a Colosseum there, which is nice. And then what, three turns in our capital, four turns in our capital. That's also fine. Quests and things are canceling, that's okay. We can bribe Vatican City for more faith. And pearls, which... I don't have pearls, do I? No. So actually getting them on board... would be fine. There we go, plus two happiness. And the faith that we can do stuff with. I don't know if we've got a faith building right now, or just units. In any case, we can... Oh, yeah, cathedrals are available somewhere. Where do we build cathedrals? Not here, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Hinduism has been spread to my eastern cities now. They keep flipping between Buddhism and Hinduism. And um, when they're Hindu, I can build cathedrals there. We may not be able to build it before we sort of lose the religions, but we'll see how it goes. Plus, I can just save it up to get great engineers later because I did finish tradition. Very good. Yeah, this is a bad, bad map, apparently, for um, the Dutch polders, which is too bad. The polders are super, super strong. But that's okay. We get to build tulips instead. Um, I will go and build a mine over there. Um, you, oh, someone, someone beat me to clearing it out. Unless this mission. Ah, this mission. And we can potentially save that worker as well. Depending on how much spawns. Okay. You are supposed to go... Hey! Nemosis! I hope this brings you one step closer to Stroopwafelizer. I don't know what the rest of that is. I know what a Stroopwafel is. Thanks for all the fun. Well, thank you very much. And if it does help me get some more Dutch pastries, I would not complain about that. Uh, trade ship. Good. Colosseum. Very good. This can take forever, but it's fine. Get those harbors up and running. We're going to need them in Rotterdam as well. Um... Workshops. Oh, God. Yeah. Cue that up first. We need everything. God damn. In real life, polders aren't that beautiful. Oh, that's a shame. Theodora's completed the Taj Mahal because she's just going to build all the things, even when she's at war with Indonesia. Because that's the way it goes. Um, Trading post. Yes, please. Cargo ship. More conversions. Sure, fine. All right, does anyone want a trade route? No. So I think the thing to do here is actually to move you to Amsterdam and probably send you to Constantinople. Coliseum, done. Good. There's a lot of things I want. I'm going to go workshop into walls here. Because these standalone guys, I really want them to have walls and castles and stuff. Because if someone declares war on me, it's very hard to defend those little island spots. All right, you're going to go there. You're going to go there. It helps if you have a lot of money, because you can quick buy some defenses. And obviously you have a big navy, but even then it takes a few turns to get there. Okay, we're just going for max money, which is Constantinople. Look at this, Jakarta only has two techs we don't have, and we have a tech they don't. So we're catching up on technology with Jakarta. Obviously, Constantinople is still going crazy. There's six techs ahead of us, which is a bit nuts. Bam. But, you know, we'll have to deal with that later. Still someone unmet? Really? Oh, yeah, there is someone unmet. Huh. I wonder who they are. When's our research agreements come due? 21 turns, six turns. Excellent. We have to take a short break, actually, I just realized. We've been going at it for an hour. Mm, do, 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 do. Tulips are mod, yes. There's a, a mod called third unique component and fourth unique component that adds some extra stuff, including the tulips, which makes me very happy. So we're going to take a short break, uh, two to five minutes-ish. Uh, get up, walk around, stretch your legs, pee, get some more liquid, and we will be back with another hour of Civilization V as the Netherlands. Catch you on the flip side.